I'm Richard Randall, and welcome back to The Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate up and down the front range. And it does it with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyers. In fact, it's barbhasthebuyers.com. Now, Barb, a lot of people, when they're estimating the value of their home, they go off these automated valuations like they see on Zillow to try to determine what their own home is worth. How does a home seller decide what price to set when they're selling their home? Well, it's interesting that these automated valuations are very available. They're even available on people's uh, credit card accounts and places like that. <laughs> we find them all over. You can go to Zillow and you can see a what they call a Zestimate of your home. You can also go to realtor.com. That's really interesting. And you can actually look, scroll down. If you put your address on realtor.com and scroll down, there is a whole graph that has three different automated valuations of your home. And those valuations range by as much as $100,000. So how do you even know if you priced your home correctly? You really don't. You need an expert that's actually in the market selling homes all the time. They could take a look at your home, take a look at the competition, help you decide how to price the home correctly so that you get top dollar. Because if you don't price it, I know mean, everybody wants the most for their home. I totally get that. But if you price it high for negotiating room, it actually has the opposite effect. You'll actually net less money. And if you price too high, the market's going to tell you right away if you got it wrong. You'll have very few showings. You'll have maybe some showings and good feedback, but no offers. Those are all clues that we're just not at the right number to make a buyer go, oh my God, that is the best home for me. I have to have it. So that's one thing. And according to a study done by the National Association of Realtors, the home sellers that price their home too high in the beginning and then very, very, very slowly walk the price down actually end up netting less money in the end. And the reason for that is when you put your house on the market within the first 10 to 30 days, that's when all the buyer population is becoming aware that it's available and peaking their interest. The longer it sits on the market, the more it becomes less desirable for buyers and the more the buyer actually thinks that you will give them a credit or they just don't see it because what happens, most of the homes are priced um, and a lot of the websites ask you to search in $50,000 increments. So let's say a home buyer qualifies for $700,000, but they don't want to spend that much. They'd like to keep it under six fifty dollars or under six hundred. dollars So they're searching from five fifty dollars to six, dollars and you're priced up here at seven, but you'll take six. They're not even going to see your home. It's not on your radar. That's why pricing is so critical. Um, and so the automated valuations give you kind of a place to start. But in my experience, especially now lately that the market has shifted, in most cases, those automated valuations are actually way higher than what the home will actually sell for. So here's that home I was talking about in the last segment on Snowbird. It was, it was lovely. It was in really good condition. But it wasn't updated. They didn't, um, you know, go out and get Corinthian leather and replace the counters and replace the vanities and do all new finishes over the years. So in that case, then we had to deploy good marketing and a pricing strategy. And the pricing strategy involved pricing the home, what I call realistically versus optimistically. And the result was, this is after the market shifted. We had 95 people at the open house. We had 10 offers. It sold for 35,000 over asking price. And it actually sold at a price that was consistent with what an updated home would sell for. That's a marketing strategy. Pricing is marketing. They absolutely work hand in hand. And you need a good real estate agent that can guide you in that direction so that your home does sell for top dollar. And pricing too low, although there is a strategy for doing that, some people price low and there could be an assumption that you've 
you there's something wrong with the house. So if it's not obvious, you don't want to get that wrong. I had one home recently during the boom where um, they had we looked at similar sales. We thought we priced it right, but nobody came. Nobody showed up. So all we did, we met within the first week, we sat down and we made a decision about, okay, this number isn't working. Let's make a small adjustment and price the home right. And boom, it sold right away. So that pricing realistically versus optimistically is critical. And you don't just look at historic sales. You look at what is the current competition? How long has it been sitting on the market? What kind of condition is, is it in? What are the homes that are getting contracts right now and why? So that's what we show up with, all that data. So you can make a really good decision about where to price your home to get the most amount of money. And part of that involves putting your buyer's hat on. Here's another home where we had similar sales that historically sold for more, okay? But the market was shifting. And so when we put it on the market, the sellers decided to price it realistically. And we got over asking price in just seven days. Had they priced it high and slowly walked the price down, it would have sat on the market week after week. Very frustrating for most home sellers. And, and sometimes you have to make pricing decisions based on issues with the home. Let me, let me give you an example. Um, I had a home last year that was beautiful. They did everything right. Um, they had oak cabinets. They called me in advance and asked me, what, what should we do to get ready to sell? So I went and looked at it. And I'm like, okay, the oak is out of style. White's very much in. They had a really nice darker uh, Formica counter. I said, why don't we paint these oak cabinets white and do the same thing with um, the master bathroom vanity cabinets? And the Mr. Seller was very handy. We gave him the right paint to select to do that. It looked fabulous. It looked like it came out of the factory like that. But here was the issue with that home it back to a very busy railroad track, very busy, like directly behind the fence. So how do we deal with those issues? Well, first of all, you don't want to overprice because there's going to be a certain segment of the population that will not buy that home. Um, and you, you want to guard against over upgrading in that situation because that won't help you either. But what we did is we brought in stagers and professionals to help them make the best decisions to do inexpensive updates. And we actually sold that home for $35,000 over asking price in just seven days. Here's another example. So this home was built in the 80s. This uh, the brother and sister inherited this beautiful home on acreage. It was very, very big. It was dated. So another example of dated things are the seashell, you know, the seashell shaped sinks that are blended into the vanity, Richard. Have you ever seen those? I have. Um, I've seen them for quite a while, in fact. Yeah. So those are out of style along with the seashell toilet seat cover. <laughs> um, so, but they had those and they really didn't want to go all in with remodeling, right? It had a nice lot and a good location. I said, don't worry about it. We've got people that could come in and it was painted interesting colors like pink and seafoam green. I said, why don't we bring in a company that can actually recoat the surface and make it look fresh and white? That way you don't notice the seashell, seashell shape. That's hard to say. Um, and we did that. They did not update the kitchen. The only thing they did was flooring and priced it correctly. And we got 75000 over asking price in just three days. And that wasn't the highest offer. We could have gone up into seven figures, but they didn't want to deal with the seller with the house to sell, which we can solve if they come to us. So my name is Barb Schlinker. My website is barbhasthebuyers.com. I have 27,000 people, buyers, buyers in waiting that have not just given us their contact information. They have given us all kinds of detail on what kind of home that they're looking for. And typically I can match at least 100 buyers on our website to your home, to any home. So if you are thinking of making a move and you're going to move in the next two to six months, or even if it's longer than that, it's okay. We love meeting with people in advance because a lot of times we can plan out exactly when to take pictures so that you get the summer pictures in the winter. We love doing that. So give us a call 
at 719-301-3900 for a free in-home consultation, or go to barbhasthebuyers.com, call us with our number on the screen there, or click on Barb Has the Buyers. And if you are planning to move later and you'd like to get one of our free reports titled Prepare to Sell for the Most Money, actual name of the report is Getting the Best Price, you can go to barbhasthebuyers.com, click on Seller Guide, and download any one of our reports. Richard? You're listening to The Real Estate Voice. It airs every Saturday. Barb, time for your lightning round of some of your hot new listings. Tell us what you have up and down the front range. Yes, I'm very excited. So I have a beautiful lot that has multifunctional purpose up on Lake George. It's just $105,000. This is four lots. You can make it a storage. You can make it a house. You can make it um, hunting cabinets priced at $105,000. We also have a beautiful, cute little home on 2887 Mary Lane in the mid 300s, a spectacular uh Victorian home that's been completely updated. When you go inside this home, it's kind of like the merge of old world charm with all new stuff, new furnace, new air conditioning, new plumbing, new electrical, new windows. It's just beautiful and very charming. We have a spectacular home on 40 acres at 17175 Warriors Path in Peyton, priced uh, just above a million. This beautiful property has a massive barn. You can actually park five vehicles inside. It's got amazing views. The elk visit there all the time. We also have an amazing custom home on 1025 Garlock Court, priced at 1.29 million. Gorgeous views of Pikes Peak. Um, in addition to that, coming soon, a beautiful townhome in the low 200s on Soaring Eagle, a fantastic home down in Sand Creek in the low 400s. We also have a beautiful home holding open this weekend at 8567 Moreland Lane. This beautiful rancher in Banning Lewis Ranch is priced to sell in the low sixes. So if you are thinking of making a move, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. You've been listening to The Real Estate Voice. It airs every Saturday. And if you are thinking of making a move, give Barb a call at 719-301-3900 or just visit barbhasthebuyers.com. That's barbhasthebuyers.com. You can also see replays of the show on the YouTube channel, Barb Schlinker, S-C-H-L-I-N-K-E-R, or listen to the podcast on all of the popular platforms, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, many, many others. Thank you for listening this weekend. To reach out to Barb, call her at 719-301-3900. Have a safe and a great week. Barb, great talking with you. Talk to you next weekend. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You too.